breaking tonight. We are following two major stories. There are serious questions for Joe Biden this evening following the publication of emails allegedly belonging to his son Hunter that contradict or seem to the nominee's insistence the two never discussed business dealings with Ukraine. The cycle tradition of an October surprise possibly being fulfilled tonight by the allegation that Joe Biden may have had a meeting he has vehemently denied. The Biden campaign still denies it tonight, but emails allegedly from his son Hunter Biden say the meeting was at least being set up. This about Hunter Biden and a powerful Ukrainian businessman. We're looking into this story, but we have Fox team coverage tonight. Howard Kurtz tells us how social media is dealing with what many are saying, censoring this story. But first, senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel has the specifics. What do we know, Mike? Well, Brett, good evening. An explosive story at a critical stage in this presidential campaign. Newly released emails allegedly from Joe Biden's son Hunter's computer leading to Capitol Hill investigators starting a probe. The Senate Homeland Security Committee is now investigating a hard drive brought forward by a whistleblower. An attorney for Rudy Giuliani tells Fox News a computer repairman came forward with a laptop and hard drive that he says belonged to Hunter Biden. He claims that it was dropped off at his shop and never picked up. Fox is told it had an estimated 40,000 emails, 1,000 text messages, and salacious photos and videos of the former vice president's son. Now Senate investigators are working with the whistleblower to confirm the information. He is legally blind, uses a monocle to do his job, and cannot confirm it was Hunter who dropped off the laptop. I saw stuff and I was concerned. I was concerned that somebody might want to come looking for this stuff eventually, and I wanted it out of my shop. And the stuff were images, or the stuff were was text, emails? A little bit of both. Fox News has obtained an April 17, 2015 email. A source tells Fox it came from the computer in question. It is from Vadim Pazarsky, a senior official from the Ukrainian energy firm Burisma. He thanks Hunter Biden for inviting him to Washington and, quote, giving an opportunity to meet your father and spent some time together when Joe Biden was vice president. The Biden campaign says it has reviewed Joe Biden's official schedules from the time and no meeting ever took place. Well, but this has been a very sensitive subject. Do you think it was wrong for him to take that position? No. Knowing that it was really because but, that but company it, wanted access to you. Well, that's not true. You're saying things you do not know what you're talking about. No one said that. Who said that? Well, don't Who you said that? that? There's also a May 12, 2014 email from Pazarski that mentions to Hunter Biden, quote, we urgently need your advice on how you could use your influence to convey a message, signal, etc., to stop what we consider to be politically motivated actions. At the time, Hunter Biden was reportedly being paid up to $50,000 per month by Burisma, while his father, the vice president, was the point man for the Obama administration on Ukraine. Less than a year after that alleged 2014 meeting where Hunter evidently introduced Pazarsky to his father, a Ukrainian prosecutor was fired, something Joe Biden bragged about in 2018. Now look, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. The Trump campaign notes the Biden campaign does not dispute the authenticity of the emails. Fox has reached out to Pazarsky to ask if these are his emails, and we have not gotten a response. Brett? To this, the social media reaction to this story really has been fascinating today and also highly controversial. Here's Fox News media analyst, host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz. Howie, this is quite something. It is indeed, Brett. The details of today's New York Post story may be in dispute, but one thing is not. Two social media giants don't want you to see it. After the tabloid disclosed emails indicating a meeting between Biden's father and that energy executive in Ukraine, uh, Facebook said it would limit the story's distribution while an outside fact checker reviewed it, uh, which is done, quote, if we have signals that a piece of content is false. Now, Twitter is resorting to outright censorship, blocking its users from sharing the post piece, even through direct messages. The post saying late today that Twitter has now locked its account by arguing that the paper has violated its rules against sharing hacked material. That's a quote. Now, this will fuel criticism by President Trump and many others that Facebook's uh, 
Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter, excuse me, uh, Twitter chief Jack Dorsey have acknowledged that their companies are accused of being biased against the right. Some top reporters who challenged the document obtained by Rudy Giuliani, as Mike mentioned, uh, are taking heat from the left. New York Times' Maggie Haberman said the sketchy story left unclear when Giuliani obtained the document. Politico's Jake Sherman added, yep, and how did Rudy get it? Liberal Times columnist Michelle Goldberg responded, uh, you're really going to help Giuliani and Steve Bannon launder this bull through the news cycle? Senator Ted Cruz today accused Twitter of an obvious and transparent attempt to influence the election and of hypocrisy for allowing shoddier stories about other politicians. A top producer for MSNBC's Lawrence O'Donnell tweeted, no one should link to or share the New York Post report. But such efforts may be backfiring, bringing even more attention to this story, Brett. 